Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely sea glass tea light. So people sometimes ask me, do you make anything other than sea glass mosaics with your sea glass? And I have made a number of these tea lights, so I'm going to show you how to make one of those today. They're really sweet and I, they come together fairly quickly and they make nice gifts. So I've given quite a few away for gifts. And uh, so first of all, what do you need? You need to gather up all your supplies. You're going to need a nice heavy rock. So this is a rock that I picked up at the beach. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Gives a nice base for your tea light. You need one of these little tea light things. You buy them in packages of a whole bunch. You need a tray of white sea glass and I use medium whites. Not too large, not too small. All kind of around the same size really like if you see how the light shines through on the tea light because I have the candle lit. It looks really nice shining through white. And I also pick up, if you could pick through your stuff to get a couple of special pieces to decorate up the side of your tea light once it's finished. I picked out a few shells here and a nice piece of blue and a nice piece of green that I'm just going to decorate on the side after I finish my tea light and you need your silicone of course I use that for everything and a couple of sticks to clean away any messy bits if you get any smudging on the side and you need some of these little self-adhesive pads to go on the bottom because you'll need to put these on the bottom after it's finished so that when you set your tea light on the table it doesn't scratch the top of your table so let's get started so this isn't a very complicated process. What I do is I take my little tea light and I set it, I like to kind of set it off to the side, but you set it where you want it to be. And then you use that as a guide for where you're going to place your sea glass. And then what I do is I just put sea glass all the way around. Now I do make an effort to not match the sea glass a hundred percent so take a little bit of your silicone I use quick seal kitchen and bath adhesive caulk and I'll put a little bit of silicone under each piece and put it down and you're going to make a row of sea glass all the way around your little tea light so I don't like to have the sea glass too, too even all the way around and I like to leave a little bit of space between each piece because I want lots of room for the light to shine through. So once you get the first row of sea glass on, you just start with a second row. And what I try to do when I'm putting subsequent rows on, I won't put a piece directly on top. What I'll do is I'll overlap the pieces that are underneath it just helps build a bit more structure so you're probably wondering how many rows of sea glass do you use and in this tea light right here if I count the rows I have one two three four five six rows of sea glass and that one I didn't make it very high and here's one I made quite a bit higher so it depends on how high you want it so this has one two three six, seven, eight, nine. This has nine rows of sea glass. So it just depends on how big you want your tea light to be. So there's two rows of sea glass. What you'll find too is sometimes some of your sea glass is thicker than others. So if you get a really thin piece, you can always just put another one on top of it. I find that if I fuss too much, it doesn't have a nice random look about it. And I really prefer the ones that have quite a random look about them. So there we go. I have three layers of sea glass there. And I think I'll leave it at that. And um, let it set for a bit. And then I'll come back in, I don't know, a couple hours. And I'll do another couple of layers. So those rows of sea glass have set a little bit. So now I feel like it's okay to go ahead and put on a few more rows 
And as you can see, this is a fairly straightforward piece of art because you're just randomly putting on white pieces of sea glass. And I want them to kind of stick out a little bit here and there, just to add a little bit of interest to my tea light. So the way clear silicone works, the longer you leave it to set, the more set it becomes. So at this stage, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from this and leave it overnight because I've got quite a few layers here. I have about five or six layers of sea glass and so that's quite a bit of silicone and I'm feeling at this point like if I keep on building the layers the weight of all the layers of sea glass is going to push out on the shape so of my I've tea light. So I've set light. and now I'm going to put the finishing rows on. I think if I do about two more rows it's going to be a really nice height. And I really like how this one is taking shape. I love the rock that it's sitting on. The rock is really heavy and it's um, it's got a lot of, you, I, you probably can't tell from the video, but it's got a lot of really cool texture on it. So in my mind, the more interesting your rock is, the more interesting your finished tea light is going to be as well. So go to the beach and see what you can find. So when I'm attaching these pieces of sea glass, I tend to be a little bit random in the way I attach them until I get to the top because you want your top layer to be fairly even and I like to have it so that you don't have any big gaps along the top. So once you have your layers in place where it takes a little bit for it to set, you can kind of just shape them a bit and say, okay, I want those right there. My sea glass is finished on my tea light. So I'm fairly happy with that. So now I want to put a few little decorative pieces on the side. So I picked out this shell that I quite like. This came from a beach in the, in the Caribbean. And it's, I find the whiteness of it really nice. And then I'm going to add a few little shells from my beach and PEI. And I have a nice blue piece here that I'm going to add. I love blue sea glass. And we don't get a lot of blue sea glass on our beach. But I like that one. And I have a green piece that I think is going to add just a little bit more interest to it. So my tea light is all finished. The last thing I need to do is I have these self-adhesive surface savers. They're like little feet. I call them feet for my tea light. And I'm going to flip my tea light upside down, being careful because it's not totally set yet. And I'm going to put one on each corner. So there you go. It's all done. And now I've got a lovely gift for the next time I seeing someone on their birthday and I want a nice little gift for them. I've got a lovely little gift. And the other thing I've done is I found some really nice boxes at the dollar store that are just the right shape and um, makes a nice box to put it in. Wrap it up and you've got yourself a gift. So there we go.